Good morning everybody, welcome to my channel, my name is Luke, thank you very much for joining me. Today is a Saturday and we are at work. Uh, we've got to go pick up a porter cabin from Ainsbury, take it to Devizes, uh, a little bit of Saturday work, slight difference, we're not in my truck today, we're driving the boss's truck. Let's get it started up. <laughs> right, so we've done our checks. Everything is done. We're just uh, filling in the daily checkbook now just to say that we've done it. I've gone round, there's nothing wrong with the vehicle whatsoever. There is actually a one spotlight out, but that's not a legal requirement. Um, so yeah, nil defect, signed. Right, we've got to attempt to get out of here now because it looks like it might be quite tight. Yeah, I definitely can't go right, which means I have to go left the wrong way around. And then there's a truck in the way over there. I don't think my boss is actually in yet, or uh, anyone who works for us. No, nope, no one's in yet. Garages are open, but no one is in. Right, yeah, it's gonna be tight on the uh, trailer with this truck here. All clear. Let me just make sure I can get past it first before I put my seatbelt on. Yeah, it's good. So yeah, we're um, we're heading to Salisbury first thing this morning. Um, not Salisbury, Ainsbury, near Salisbury is where we're heading. We've got to pick up a couple of porter cabins from a base around there. Can't remember what it's called now. Uh, and then we've got to take them to a scrapyard in Devizes on this beautiful Saturday morning. I'm gonna say thank you to this guy. Anyway, we're gonna do the window up. We are gonna go via Monsbury, so we need to go on the A419. So we're gonna take a right here. Yes, um, so we're doing the work for a company I've done work for before. I'm not gonna mention their name, just, just in case, although you will see them later. But, um, yeah, so they uh, they specialise in sort of like port cabins. Their their vehicles have cranes on them and stuff to get lift them on, lift them off, things like that. Apparently, the first group of guys um, have got there for seven o'clock this morning. It's worth pointing out it's seven o'clock in the morning now. So the first group of guys are already there. They're going to start dismantling the port cabins and unloading onto themselves and stuff. And then they're going to go to devise uh, yeah devices and unload them where they wait for us to unload us when we get there as well. Um, oh yeah, the crane's getting set up at seven o'clock this morning. So by the time I get there, and another, and another bloke, he said he's leaving his yard at seven o'clock, which is just around the corner, and we're leaving as well at seven o'clock, so there's a chance that we're gonna cross. There's a chance we might not, but that's, the, that's uh, whether it happens or not, it's irrelevant. So uh, yeah, basically me and one other bloke are on our way there, together, to get there for eight o'clock, to pick up the last two or three or whatever, because that's the, that's the thing, it could be one large container, port cabin or it could be two small ones or it could be little bits and bobs some stairs it could be anything so I've got some ratchet straps so we should be okay and if I don't have enough then I'll just have to borrow some off of them because we're going down well we'll be coming up together anyway so yeah all good as you can see I'm in the boss's truck it's a bit of a beast sounds a bit beefy doesn't it it's because it's got twin stack exhaust if, for those of you who don't know but yeah, anyway, let's crack on and uh, let's start making our way there and I'll see you in a little bit.
Right, so we're just going down um, Heard Street in Melbourne. Still relatively early, it's 20 past seven, so I'm trying not to rev the engine too much because it does make a lot of noise, especially when going uphill, but luckily at the moment we're going downhill, so not too much of a problem, which is good. Um, there's positives and negatives with every truck you drive, and the negative on this truck is that it's old, <laughs> in the sense that it just does not have any Bluetooth, so you can't listen to whatever you want to listen to on, on, on your phone or anything like that, your own music. It's a lot bloody bumpier as well than my truck, both my other trucks I had, the white one and the red one. The red one is actually really comfortable. But yeah, it's, uh, like I said, there's pos positives and negatives with, with every truck. Positives is that it's obviously a lovely looking truck. Sounds lovely, looks lovely. But yeah, it's just old. Too old for my liking. I don't like the ancient stuff. <laughs> All right, we're gonna take a right here. Oh, diverted traffic, there's a road closure somewhere. Diverted traffic is going this way, so we should be all right. Should, shouldn't be a problem. I thought I had to go down there then for a second. Oh, bloody bumps. <laughs> so bumpy. My truck would have just rolled over that and didn't even, they can't even see a bump in the road. Yeah, we're going up a hill now, you can see, uh, that is about here that's making a lot more noise. We've got to go up a really steep hill in a second, if I, if I got this right. Yeah, I know where I am. We're about to go up a steep hill. Listen to the engine purr when we go up this hill. Oh, what are they building there then? I've not been here for a while. There's new houses being built there. I don't know if I've said yet, but I am hoping to be done today by 12. That's my aim. Uh, depends on how long it takes to get loaded and unloaded. I'm completely at the, like, realm of other people. They'll do the window up. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm completely reliant on, on other people as to when I get unloaded. So, and loaded. So, we just have to wait and see. Oh, I just remembered I forgot my gloves. I've not brought any gloves with me. Hopefully he's got some down here because I've not got any. <laughs> right, let's carry on. How long are we away now? We're going to be there in 45 minutes. There's a lay by just outside the main entrance. I'm going to pull up there, give the guy a call who I'm, who's, who I'm meeting there. Because there's a chance I'm beating him there or I could be after him, I don't know. That's why I'll phone him and see where he is. We're going together then. Right, see you in a bit. Right, so we're just pulling up now to, uh, to where we need to be. I'm going to stop in the lay-by, which should be just outside. Um, and then um, sort of walk on in and see what they say. But um, yeah, I need to make a phone call in a second as well, just to make sure uh, that we're in the right place. Because there's like four or five different gates that you can go through. So I just, want, I just need to make sure that, you know, I'm in the right one, basically. Okay, there's a crane right there. That crane, I believe, is the one that's going to be loading us. And I was told it'd be set out for seven. So I won't be waiting in the lay-by. <laughs> I think we're just going to wait here for a sec. I'm going to make that phone call. Right, so we've just turned up and straight almost immediately a guy has come out and told me that I need to get off this road and park inside, but I can't park inside until I hand in my phone and my sat nav and everything because it's a secure base. Um, so he said, finish your phone call, because I, I was on the phone as well to the guys, just saying I'm here. And um, 
and then hand it all in. So I've got, got to hand it in. So I'm just putting in the uh, postcode of where I've got to go in a second afterwards because I, I like to have things planned, ready to go. So that's what I'm doing as we speak. Um, and then, yeah, so I'm going to have to go. I'm not handing my GoPros in. They can go in the cupboard down here. I'm not handing the GoPros in. No way. Right, see you in a bit. Right, we're on our way. Uh, it's 10 past 11 at the moment. And we arrived at, what time did we arrive at? It's at 8 o'clock, wasn't it? Just, was it 8 o'clock? Can't remember. Anyway, yeah, so we've been here a little bit longer than expected. These porter cabins, we're following the guy in front, and his sheet is actually going up quite high. Um, they're really old, and uh, there was actually a risk that they were gonna break um, when, they, when the crane lifted them up. But luckily, they stayed intact but uh, they are quite rusty, so we've got like six straps on them either side, which is a bit overkill, but it's, it's, we need to because like they could they could collapse. That's really annoying me, my jaw keeps undoing because there was a net on the bed and I've got the net on the passenger seat and now the jaw is not undoing. Anyway, sort it out. Ah, yeah, anyway, we, we're in a bit of a rush now to get to where we need to be because uh, they, they close at 12 o'clock. I want to be finished by 12 o'clock. We're actually gonna be not getting at all till not going to be at devices until 12 o'clock so um yeah we're a little bit delayed unfortunately so we are in a little bit of a rush to get back but obviously we need to drive sensibly oh we just curbed that and we also need to stay together because we are wide loads and um we don't, well, we don't have to stay together it's just easier if you do, basically. Anyway, let's back on. That's it, we're done. Uh, it's just got offloaded now. We're at a, um, I don't know where we are actually. We're in some place in Devizes, so that's where they've come. Some other driver's gonna pick them up and take them on to where they need to be, I believe. We're just dropping them off here because it's on the way home. And uh, yeah, we're in a situation at the moment whereby we can't get out until uh, the matey boy who was following leaves and he can't get out until the guys who just unloaded us leave. Um, so we will be going back towards Swindon in a uh, in a foursome, so to speak. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, then I'm done for the day. It's been slightly longer than planned today, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I just spoke to my boss and he wasn't um, under the illusion it was gonna take too long, but it is what it is. And I said, it's all right, don't worry, it's not your fault. Complications when we, uh, we got there didn't help. Like the place that we had to reverse into was proper tight. We had to jackknife the lorries just to get in. And then, even then, there was no guarantee we were gonna get back out again. So, um, yeah, it was fun and games. We couldn't strap up until we got out, and then we had to strap up, and then we had to do it again. And uh, yeah, it was just a bit of a pain. Anyway, he's moving, so I'm now gonna move forward. Gotta do a, do a 360 here just to get out. Got loads of room, so I'm not gonna go too tight. And uh, yeah, so the reason they had to take the phones off first, I wasn't under the illusion that that was gonna happen. I wasn't made aware that that was gonna happen. And neither was the driver I come up with. 
uh, and matey boy, it wasn't on camera, I wish it was, but matey boy goes, um, yeah, you're right, drive, yeah, you have, you have to drive in there, uh, but before you do, you need to hand your phone in and any cigarettes or lighters that you have. I was like, okay, I don't smoke. And then I handed the phone in. I said, do I get anything to say that you, I've handed the phone in? Do I get like a, something to sign to say I've given it to you? He goes, no. I like, but I'm not being funny, mate. But it's like, he wanted my smartwatch as well. And I said, not being funny, but that's over, over a grand easy, just my watch on my phone. And I got nothing to say I've handed it over to you. And he said, no, wouldn't, wouldn't gonna do it. So wouldn't, I wouldn't best please with that, to be honest with you. But, oh yeah, and then when I, I, I said, look, I'm not being funny, mate, but, What's to say you give my phone to somebody else? He, go, he goes, no, nah, we, we, we wouldn't do that. And I said, oh, okay, no problem. Anyway, we we, um, we finished and I went back up to get my phone and he gave me somebody else's phone. <laughs> I said, mate, that's not my phone. I said, this is the exact reason I didn't want to give you my phone in the first place, because you might give my phone to somebody else. I said, you almost just give someone else's phone to me. And he, he apologized and I was like, well, it's pain in it, like, never mind. Anyway, it was some sort of um, factory or whatever. Apparently they make uh, flares for military aircraft, like flares that come out of the planes and helicopters and stuff like that. No, we all got to go out on the way bridge, have we? Well, there's a skip in the way, so yeah. Right, we are done. Just jumping back in the cab now, hello. So yeah, we had to get weighed. We were weighed on the way in, and uh, they wanted to weigh us on the way out as well, which makes sense. Ugh. Let's just get off the way bridge so maybe Boy Brum, you can get on it. There we go. So yeah, we won't be running back in a convoy because we're leaving in like four minute, five minute intervals. We'll try and get out of here now. It's quite a busy road. Lovely jubbly. We're clear. Right, we can turn our beacons off now as well. Just wait until uh, we've got a bit of space between us and other vehicles. There we go. Beacons are off. So we're heading straight back to Swindon now. ETA there is half past one. I say Swindon, I mean Quick Lane where we're based. And uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to be parking this trailer up and cracking on. I need to, there's stuff I need to do when I get back to the yard. I need to unhitch this truck from this trailer and hitch it back up to the trailer it's going on for Monday. And then if, if my boss hasn't hitched my truck up that he's been working on today, I'll have to hitch mine up as well, really, for Monday. I'm hoping that he's at least done my truck. That would be the nice thing to do. And if he has done my truck, then I definitely got to get his truck done as well. Pitched up to his trailer for the morning. Yeah. Like I said, I've worked a lot, lot longer today than what I was hoping. I was hoping to be in the yard by 12, ready to go home. It's, we're probably going to be looking at two o'clock before I leave. So done two hours more than I'm expecting. And 
I don't get paid time and a half or anything like that for Saturday. I'm on salary. I get paid the same regardless. Just kind of pulled the short straw, I guess. But the plus side is my truck's going to start getting done up. So the spotlights are now working. The beacons are now working on my truck because uh, he's had time to do it. I've done this run instead of him. So he's had time to do it. And I want as much done as possible, really, before I go to Truck Fest. Which, by the way, is in four weeks' time from this. It's on the 5th and 6th of May. And uh, also, I'm pleased to announce that all of the Road Legends will be there and are officially invited by Truck Fest. So um, for a while, it was just myself, Scott, and Jay. Not Scott and Jay, sorry. Myself, Kev, and Jay. We were the originals, if you like the originals to be invited. Martin got himself invited and uh, and Scott's got himself invited as well. So we are all going, all of us, all five of us will be there at Trekfest. And it's on the 5th and 6th of May. So it will be nice to see you guys if you are going. Also, I just want to give a quick shout out to my sponsor, Avail. You may have seen on my last video and on this video as well, um, they are on my intro and also their logo is in the top right hand corner of the vlog as well and that's because uh, they're my sponsor they now sponsor my channel and if you don't know who they are uh, the quickest way to find out is by clicking the link in the description but basically they help find hauliers drivers and help drivers find work as well they work for both sides um, you're guaranteed a minimum 12 pound 50 an hour uh, wage gap and um, they don't take any money off you as a driver so um, it's all fantastic, it's all online based as well, on an app, on your phone. So, um, you haven't actually got to go into an agency and sign paperwork or anything like that, it's all on an app. It's the future of finding work. Um, they're a relatively new business, they're currently based out of Manchester and Yorkshire, but they are looking to expand very quickly. So. Um, if they're not available in your area, at least go on the website and register your interest. Doesn't cost you anything to register your interest. Doesn't cost you anything at all anyway. Like, you don't pay a penny. But um, yeah, just go and register your interest if you are interested. You're gonna have to budge over ever so slightly. No, I'm gonna squeeze through you. Squeeze through you. So yeah, my new sponsor, Avail. It's quite busy, isn't it? Devices is quite busy. Once we get out of this bit, it's relatively uh, clear until we hit Marlborough and then it clogs up again until we hit Swindon. Never mind. <laughs> Just think to myself there. Anyway, I'm going to go. Thank you very much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. Uh, it's been a while since I've done a Saturday shift, so got to do one every now and then and I suppose so yeah thanks for watching until next time drive safe I will see you soon and uh, yeah don't forget to check out my sponsor Avail down in the description below see ya bye bye